Ever been shopping and you see something that really piques your interest and you wonder if it's worth buying, but you cannot find any information about it or reviews? Well, I'm CE Tech Dude, and this is the On 1080p Portable Projector Review. I'm not really sure what makes this a portable projector since it does weigh six pounds, but it says it on the box, so it has to be true. This projector is available at Walmart and it's $249 and it comes with the Roku 8300X streaming stick in the box, which is a pretty sweet addition. When I purchased it, I also received a surprise $20 Voodoo credit on my receipt, but your mileage may vary on that. Spec-wise, you get a native 1080p projector with 3100 lumens, a 20,000 to one contrast ratio, three HDMI ports and two USB ports. Plus you get a VGA input, one AV input and one aux input. You also get a much preferred Roku streaming stick instead of some proprietary smart technology built in, which is pretty awesome. Let me also quickly show you what's in the box. Any ideas? In the box, you get the extremely portable projector. Just kidding, it's not because it's huge. You get the Roku remote, batteries and a USB cable for the Roku. You get the Roku 8300X streaming stick. The projector remote. And for some strange reason, a power brick, which seems strange for a projector. Now I set this projector onto my 120 inch screen. Once I had it set up, I was pretty pleased with how quickly it powered on. This is an LCD projector with 3100 lumens of output. And I assume it uses an LED bulb since it powers on and off so fast. It also only has a 90 day manufacturer's warranty, which is pretty bad. This unit does have vertical keystone correction if you need it. And the feet can also be adjusted for more picture correction. To adjust focus, you simply turn the lens until the text becomes in focus. And this is my main complaint about this unit, but more on that later. Out of the box, I noticed colors aren't great. All the picture models I've tried were all pretty mediocre. There is a user picture mode where I was able to adjust the settings more to my liking. And for some, for some strange reason, there's not a menu button on the remote. And in order to get to the menu to adjust settings with the remote, you have to go back to the home screen using the home button on the remote and then go to the settings menu from the home screen. In order to adjust the settings without leaving the input you're on, you have to use the actual button on the projector and then you can use the remote to adjust the settings. Kind of convoluted and kind of annoying. Once I got the settings dialed in, things looked pretty decent. Black levels looked good and the unit claims a 20,000 to one contrast ratio. Any ideas? The unit also has 3,100 lumens of brightness, but when you crank up the brightness, it washes everything totally out. Now this may be passable in a bright outdoor setting, but I would not recommend going over 55 for brightness in a home theater environment. Colors also looked much better after adjusting it to my liking, and I'll leave the settings that I use in the description below. Except, except maybe it's bait. So for home theater use, I would say this is actually a pretty good projector for the money. The picture quality is more than watchable once you get the settings adjusted to your liking, although the colors are a little soft no matter how much you adjust them. I also tried using this projector for gaming and I was not impressed. For one thing, and this is my major complaint about the unit, the left side of my projector will not focus correctly. Even when the middle and the right are really in focus, the left side won't. And it's not really noticeable during movies, but when playing Fortnite or anything with text on the left side of the screen, it's really blurry. And I also tried hooking this up to my computer to test it and it looks the same way, no matter how much I adjusted the focus. The speakers of the unit actually uh, do a pretty good job. But if you use this for a home theater projector, you're gonna to wanna to buy some kind of sound bar or invest in a home theater audio system. This projector also has quite a bit of fan noise as you can hear. It's not super noticeable when you're watching something, but it is a little annoying. So the question is, is this projector worth buying? 
I think for a budget home theater build, absolutely. Just make sure the unit you get is able to focus completely. At $249 with the included Roku stick, this cannot be beat. If my unit didn't have the focus issues, I would keep it for sure. But since mine has that flaw, it's going back to Walmart. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this review. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more great content. I'm CE Tech 2 and you just got CE Tech. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.